I think what's special about the case method is that it gives us the opportunity to interrogate ideas rather than just present them. So that means that we get to go into the classroom and it becomes a laboratory, both for learners and for researchers. For me, the case method allows uh, us to really look at the nuances of a problem. It's about creating different points of view in the classroom and then having people debate those. And that debate is you know, much like you would have uh, at the dinner table after dinner. And people just get energized by a good case discussion. It's hard to beat. I think students come to understand that they have more agency and more control and more influence in decisions than they could ever imagine. And by going through these case discussions, they understand how to actually bring the best out of other people. All my work, the start of it, the foundation of it has been the case method. I think it was part of my DNA. Earl is one of the founding fathers of my discipline, service operations and of service management. He's a person who's known around the world for his research contributions in operations. I joined the HBS faculty in 1969. No one in our group of 15 to 20 were, were looking at services. So I began that journey uh, in 1972. And quite luckily, uh, one of the first cases we were able to develop was the Benihana case. It was a winner. It was beyond our expectations in terms of opening up the, the avenues that we wanted to explore throughout the course. So the Benihana case is special to me. It was one of the first cases that I experienced when I came to Harvard Business School as an MBA student, and it was the first case I had the opportunity to teach to students. It's the story of an entrepreneur named Rocky Aoki, who was Japanese and who came to the United States with a dream to basically start his own restaurant. And he created a very unique experience that was underpinned by a unique operation. I had a dream. I introduced Hibachi cuisine to America. So I opened my first Benihana in New York. The people loved it. I think it was a successful case because it had many facets that we could explore. Everyone had been in a restaurant. Everyone knew what a restaurant was. And they could see how this one was different because by bringing the kitchen out to the customers, it changed everything. And the way they designed things around that in terms of uh, managing the process, managing speed, being able to turn around a table in 45 minutes to an hour is unbelievable in the restaurant business. I think the Benihana case is a fun one to teach just because of the number of light bulbs that go off in the class over students' heads as you're unpacking different parts of the case. There's so many layers to this onion that they might come in with 60 70 percent and the faculty member has a way of peeling off the last 30 or 40 percent. What you come to understand is that 100 little decisions that Rocky Aoki made helped the operation not just create a better experience for customers, but be profitable and be sustainable over the long run. And what Rocky Aoki seemed to understand way back in 1972 was that bringing customers and employees together could create more value than keeping them separated. I think what, what's really attractive this case for Ryan is it introduces the concept that he really has explored in detail, which is operational transparency. And this is actually a beautiful example of operational transparency in action. Before we understood why something like that would work or had the words to be able to describe why building those opportunities into an operation can be so successful. So we're celebrating 100 years, and this case has been taught and still being taught for 50 of those 100 years. It's just, it's mind blowing to me. In my own research, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants like Earl Sasser, people who were here at Harvard Business School in the 70s, doing some of the early foundational work that led to decades and decades of research and helped us understand how we can design and lead modern service organizations as we do today. Mm -hmm.